Super Bowl quest will lead to Jim McMahon recovering from his kidney injury of a year ago. Today's season opener in Chicago is a key central division matchup between the Bears and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Play action, good take by McMahon. Chicago Bears, they take the lead for the first time. And they have a chance here to really open up a lead. Now it's McMahon, will walk in. We have had the 66 points scored in this football game. And you know, this is the time the Chicago Bears offense has come through for the defense and come back. This McMahon is going to go in for Randall Cunningham. Now the first play of the second quarter, Randall and the Eagles home for the season. May be rounded. McMahon looks quite well. He backs up. He better hurry. He smokes it. The Myers is leading the bubble. And is it caught? It is by Myers for a touchdown after the deflection. He's floating it. He has Myers first. Now McMahon drops. He's firing the football deep. And it's caught in close drive by Fredford. And he's going to go. He hides that into the end. I certainly have a tremendous amount of confidence in McMahon. We don't have any built-in excuses. They were a good football team, they stay a good football team. Jim McMahon, the young man out of BYU, had the highest rating of any rookie quarterback in the history of the NFL, and was NFC Rookie of the Year. 26-14, we're in the fourth quarter with 9.50 left to play. Jim McMahon, for the first time in almost a year, is the Bear quarterback. This is good experience for McMahon. When you get in this type of game on the road,
long before he realized his pro dream, Jim McMahon was destined to be a bear. In Gaelic, McMahon means son of the bear. Going long to go. He's there, and it's a big game for the Bears. We talked to Ditka early in the week, and he said George Hallis, who hired him before he died at 88, never interfered except that in my first game, we had the ball around the two-yard line and didn't get it in on four tries. The next day on Monday, George Hallis sent up a couple of quarterback sneaks and said, I still have it in my game plan. I've had those two plays in ever since. To carry what drives through and following behind is McMahon for the touchdown. Well, Bob the Bear would have applauded that one. McMahon was good play action, going for the bomb from his own end zone to Colt. Well, I'll tell you, he's had good accuracy today. A defensive nightmare trying to figure out where these bears are going to go next. Using every trick in the book, but executing extremely well. Well, now they've got nothing but linemen, including William Perry in the backfield. First and goal inside the one. The refrigerator is a lone setback now, and it's all disguised, but man, rolls in on number 26. And hungry Chicago, finally champions on this January day in New Orleans. 46 to 10, the final. Here is Jim McMahon. They would love to have him in there tonight, but again, there's Bass for the next, and the Bass for the back. Then he wanted to play, or many of the Bears, who he spoke with, said there's no way we'll keep him out of the lineup tonight. Well, when they came out to warm up, he led him onto the field. He came out running. I saw him throwing the football, doing the warm up, and he looked ready to play. Because he's trying to institute a rule around the camp that if you don't practice, don't expect to play. I think trying to get in the way of Mike Zipka every way he can. Hey, coach, what do you think? I think we now know how Zipka measures the catastrophe. Jim McMahon has his helmet on, Steve Fuller has his helmet off. Maybe catastrophe is measured by eight points down midway in the third quarter. <laughs> now comes Jim McMahon, who told you, hit nerve in his neck. He was in fracture after the game on Sunday. Has not worked out this week. But here he is, Jim McMahon, has taken over for the Bears. Right there on the first play. Oh, oh, right. oh my love it! Willie Gulf, forget it. If he gets behind him, it's over, and McMahon pays the price, but he got the touchdown. 70 yard touchdown. He really got uh -huh. hammered just as he released the ball. McMahon has thrown two footballs tonight. Two touchdowns, a 25 yarder there to McKenna, a first down. This is McMahon again, right open field in front of him. He wants the bundle, pass the shooter. That is McKenna. Third touchdown pass tonight for McMahon, and he is blowing this game away.